All right, guys, welcome back to a new video. Today it's a rainy day, but this doesn't stop me to review this new Citroën C5 Aircross 2022. This is the facelift. And in this video, I will make the full review, interior, exterior. I will show you everything. You will see uh, the new multimedia, actually the old multimedia system. You will see the new cockpit. You will see how much space we have in the back. I will explain you also more details here and with what come this new Citroën C5 Aircross. So at the end of this video you will know everything about the car i have a separate video with a test drive with the same car if you want to see it how it's on the road check out that video probably it's already on the channel if it's not click the subscribe button to see the notification when the test drive video will come out with the same car before we start the review i want to give you some technical data and some information about the car inclusive the price and by the way if you are in switzerland around switzerland check out emil frey in mosedorf i will leave the link in the description if you want to see the car test drive the car buy the car check them out guys anyway now the model that i have with me citroen c5 aircross uh, is the plug-in hybrid version uh, and it is also shine version just to make an idea it comes with a 1.6 liter petrol engine four cylinders in line 220 uh, for horsepower more details in a second the price of the car this is a demo car it already have 3800 kilometers the starting price the basis price for this version is 45,990 francs with all these options included right here okay all these options you can pause the video and read it out but i will explain you as we go in the video as well the total price because you have to pay for the metallic color i'm not sure how much you have to pay but the total price with all these options it's 47,380 francs but here at emil frey uh, in mosedorf you already have two discounts 1500 francs you have the discount for the car then you have 2300 francs discount because this is a demo car and then you have also five years warranty included in this It's kind of free you don't have to pay anything for it so this is great so the final price will be 44,130 francs pretty good good price i tell you guys for an suv a family suv like that with all the technology with the comfort that this car come with and space it's lovely i tell you the engine is also amazing i will tell you that it comes also with an electric motor that means you can drive up to 55 kilometer only in electric mode so uh, if you drive to home to work uh, you can do it only in electric mode if you have the possibility to charge it in the night time at home or wherever it's really really good i mean you can use it as an electric car and if you go at long trips with your family you can drive with the petrol engine and combine those two so you can get a very very good consumption for such a big car let me go a little bit deeper in details and let me tell you that the car come with a 1.6 liter petrol engine four cylinders in line is the same engine that Stellantis group use it also on the Peugeot cars and also other Citroen cars 225 horsepower it's a front wheel drive system it's connected with an eight speed automatic transmission 360 Newton meters is the total torque the estimated consumption VLTP combined it's 1.5 four liters pretty good fuel tank capacity 43 liters as i said before the range vltp 55 kilometers also it comes with lithium battery 13.2 kilowatt hour capacity co2 emission vltp 31 grams top speed of the car 225 km per hour 0 to 108.9 seconds the car come with ventilated brake discs on the front and normal brake discs on the rear 18 inch rims as standard turning radius 10.7 meters the trunk space 460 liters and if you fold down the seats completely you will have 1510 liters also let's don't forget that the car come with independent mcpherson suspension coil spring with anti-roll bar in the front and on the rear we have also multi-link coil spring with anti-roll bar now here it's a big discussion uh, in my opinion and not in only in my opinion all the reviewers know that and all the technical uh, people and the people that really drive a lot of cars know that Citroen they are well known for the comfort so the comfort on this price you don't get in any other car guys I mean I trust me the comfort it's very close 
with what you get in an S-Class, in a Range Rover with air suspension and stuff like that. It's just really incredible. They work on those seats special. Those seats are really special. They add some kind of uh, 15 millimeter foam here, special to, to take out from the vibration, from the road, from the holes, and the seats are really, really special. Not only the seats, but they also have a different system. Citroën call it progressive hydraulic cushion. That help, you know, like regular bump stop, they are stopped with a suspension. And then you have a secondary dumper. So the system there with the suspensions and dumpers are a little bit different. They are kind of extra. So every time you go over the bumps, you will feel that. Don't expect to be a super sporty car, but in terms of comfort, for it's just blow your mind you have to try it and also i tried the new citroen c5x that was like oh my god it's lovely guys you have to try those cars if you want comfort you just go with the citroen uh, in this price you don't get any other car uh, better than that so those are the most important information let's start the review exterior interior and in the end we will make the conclusion all right guys first of all let's start the review with the key is the same key as uh, Stellantis group use it also on other Peugeot cars also old models uh, so it's nothing changes here uh, what you can do with the key is that you can lock the car and you can unlock the car also as you can see right here uh, it comes with electric folding mirrors uh, also by the way you can use it as keyless entrance when you want to lock the car you put your finger here and when you want to unlock the car you just come here and just open the door like that what i notice and this is probably one of the best system is that for example i lock the car look at this guys i go directly there and the the car will unlock automatic look at this almost almost instantaneous on other cars i have to wait maybe one two seconds until it fill my hand and but this one worked really good and another thing that i want to mm, tell you now uh, before we go forward is that the sound of the doors i don't know if you can hear it so well because it's a highway around here a lot of trucks and cars look at you hear it lovely sound really good quality i mean i find some things here here and there that they're really really good quality now i want to turn on the lights we will talk about the exterior and about the lights and then we will go forward this is a facelift first of all the size of the car it's quite similar and also in terms of space you will see in the second that it's it's quite quite similar but the fact that this uh, come with a facelift they change we have new lights we have new bumper uh, we have kind of new design there in the front some lines and also in the back as well the lights are different make the car much more attractive much more beautiful in my eyes it's much more beautiful than before i don't know about you guys but for me it looks much much better look at the design in the back look at the lights design it's much attractive much more attractive much more uh i don't know it's much more powerful it looks like it's a more big powerful car this is my opinion when i look at it from the distance from the third person view uh, this is how it looks for me it's a beautiful car uh, it kind of immediately attract the the people eyes to the car because it's it's a really nice car look at the design of the lights it's quite quite attractive i love i love this front end i tell you i really love it and also the bumper look super spectacular super strong lovely car it starts raining a little bit more but that doesn't stop us to review the car look how interesting they design and they design it in this way that the aerodynamic of the car to be much better when you drive on the highway at high speed they think about everything they want to somehow uh, improve the aerodynamic of the car and they try to make this kind of design here not only that it looks different and nice but also uh, it's it's quite practical glossy plastic black and also in the back they make kind of a nice design there and it fits very well with this roof spoiler here where you can see some kind of interesting designs here uh, glossy plastic in black i like very much the combination here also on the side we have tinted windows it fits very well with the tinted windows and also here on the side uh, we have tinted windows guys it starts raining really really hard right now but it's fine now the brake light led light we have it up there uh, also here uh, we have the charging port by the way 
where you can charge the car in three and a half hour at maximum speed in AC. You can charge the battery completely. We have some chrome design you can see around the windows there. It fits quite well with the rims. If we look from the side here, I think you can see it pretty well. It looks really, really cool. Going on the back here, we have the Citroën logo. Then we have the lights, LED lights, by the way, here. Quite nice design. I like very much how they designed this. It's kind of a hybrid signature. You can see the hybrid logo. And then it's kind of remind me a little bit of this one. I don't know what they think when they design it, but it looks quite nice. We have hybrid writing here. So, you know, this is the plug-in hybrid version, C5 Aircross. Then here we have the reverse camera and we have two LED lights. I cannot tilt the camera upwards because it's raining, but it's LED and it's a reverse camera. I like the fact that it's LED light there. Overall, it looks good. The lights look good. Also from the back and here from the distance, look pretty, pretty nice. Now down there, you can see the fog lamps on both sides. They are not LED, they are normal uh, halogen lights. And you can see those kind of exhaust pipes we have two fake exhaust pipes here you can see it pretty well other than that the plastic mat in the back on the bumper six parking sensors in the back and we have also some elements sporty elements here uh, on the bumper overall a nice design really really cool it fits really well with the car the way they design it here we have the tank 43 liters if i remember well the thing that i like very much about the car are those plastics here protection around the edges of the car those are really really practical guys because if you scratch the car here in this area you don't have to repaint the car and this is a good thing down here on the doors we have this plastic everywhere so again if you go a little bit off-road it's not a car made for off-road it doesn't offer you a four-wheel drive system but it's quite practical if you go if you scratch this area here you can change the, the plastic you don't have to change or repaint the car and also when you open the doors it's open up in the same time with those plastics so if you hit something you're okay handles are pretty simple very nice it feels good quality very stable the mirrors are big you have blind spot technology in the corners here big mirrors good visibility also on the other side turning signals uh, LED light and also it's in black the same color as the car up here on the car you have also the cameras and all that sensors uh, to read the traffic speed limit and also it helps with the lane assist if I'm not wrong on the side here you have the hybrid uh, logo again in blue going in the front the grill I like the grill before the grill the hood of the, the car the hood it's quite nice you can see it has a little hole here and also here it makes it really interesting then we go to the front logo and grill it's really interesting the Citroen logo how it continuing here with some chrome parallel small lines and we don't have any grill it's everything it's close here like electric cars it's really interesting the way they design it it's much nicer and the way it comes here and the way they integrate inside the body those lights headlights it looks great then you have their Citroen LED you can see there Citroen LED vision I don't know if you can see it but it's writing somewhere inside inside right there and we have of course as I said before uh, full LED lights it's not matrix LED light but it's full LED lights and they look awesome look at this really cool and the chrome design down there on the bumper look great Fog lamps are normal halogen light. They are a little bit yellow. I think you can see from here, but that doesn't matter too much. We have huge air intakes here for aerodynamic. I think you can see them. Those are also helpful for the aerodynamic, for the consumption of the car. Here we have the grill and here. Here it's a grill air intakes. Here air intakes to cool down the engine. We have also some pedals, clappers there. You can see the clappers, if you look closely, that are open right now. In the cold weather, they will close to keep the engine uh, really warm there. And here is the radar for adaptive cruise control, emergency brake, and all that safety features. So, yes, this is the exterior of the car. Six parking sensors, again, in the front. You can see them here. And we go to the 18-inch uh, rims that come standard with this model. The rims look nice. A little bit of chrome ventilated brake disc in the front and normal brake this on the rear guys and i'm almost done with the exterior of the car it's super raining uh, but this is it 
I hope I cover everything. I want to show you the, the engine bay and the hood really fast, but for that reason, I want to stop the light and stop the engine and put it on auto. Yes, just like that. And I want to show you the engine and the front part right there really fast. And then we will go back in the trunk. The raining, it's stopped a little bit, so that's a good thing. That's a good sign. Now here, wait, this is a little bit heavier, uh, but this is the engine. Nothing interesting here, nothing crazy. Here's the fuse box on the right side, the 12 volt battery. Here's the engine, 1.6 liter pure tech engine. And there is the wiper, the liquid fluid. And this is it. Yeah, good. We don't have any automatic lift gate. You have to do it manually, just like that. But the great part is you can stay under here just like that and you are kind of uh, fine if it's rain outside but yeah anyway so that I mean when you go to shop you go here you can stay a little bit here we have a handle to close it we have the uh, triangle up here also you have this protection for the trunk I will take it out and I will show you how it looks without it and we have this entrance and quite a flat floor here so uh, I like that you have some plastic at the entrance uh, and then you have kind of a flat floor, maybe one centimeter here. And then you have a flat floor, very, very practical hooks in every corner here and here. And also you have a 12 volt port and then you have a normal halogen light. Under the floor, don't expect to have too much space because it's a hybrid. It has to have the battery somewhere, but you have some space here for your cable and for a repair kit and for different, different uh, stuff now guys let me take out this protection and then we will fold down the seats to see how much space uh, we have there all right now i just take out that protection you can see a little bit better the trunk huge entrance i mean it's square it's big it's it's a flat floor you can fit in here big items without any problem so practicality it's at top level in my opinion it's it's really really good really practical now another great stuff is that you can fold down the seats free parts we have free individual seats that's another plus that dc Citroen c5 air course come with so i want to show you if you want to fold it the only downside is that you have to come here on the side and you have to pull this um, string right here let me show you you have to pull it and then it will come all the way down then you have to do the same thing here in the middle you have to pull this and then push it you have more position this is a great thing that you have more position to choose from and every time you you choose to fold it down you see the seats on the on the under there it goes even downer to allow you to have a flat floor here guys it's just super good i mean from this point of view it's incredible let me fold this down too the only thing is that you have to really open the doors all four doors in order to fold it down that's the only thing but other than that um, i love it i mean i like the way it is fold it down let me go in the back and then we will go on the side again you can see from this angle one more time the way it looks is just incredible practicality is great you can even sleep here and you can carry big items it's like a minivan in my opinion really really practical so great job Citroen uh, for the practicality I will give it a 10 again that's why I give it such a big rating because I find that for this price range that Citroen offered this C5 Aircross I think I'm not sure if you can get a better car and look at this it's, it's just completely flat fridges wash machine you can put here without any problem again uh, quality on the doors and things that are uh, here and there are incredible the entrance here it's huge i mean it's really big this entrance in the car because the windows are on the door i tell you always guys when i review my cars uh, and all the cars all the cars that have the windows on the on the door that mean great visibility and mean bigger entrance here on the side and this is great you can see no window here on the on the body of the car now look at this from this angle great 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 entrance huge huge space that's incredible i mean great job again uh, i love it down there on the legs room you can see you don't have a transmission tunnel i will show you later this is again another great stuff uh, but the way they design those seats here it's very smart 
and I really really like that and I appreciate that and now I'm happy that the raining it stopped have to put back all those seats if you want to put it back the great thing is that you have more position you have this one and then in the same time you see it's complicated to do that with one hand in the same time you have to pull it and you can pull it all the way on the back and this is the position on the back and then yeah, I have to do that with all those seats you can see now the difference between them and the other one too okay yeah maybe that's the, the only thing that i wish was different that i don't have to yeah go on the other side in order to to put that seat back let me close this yeah yeah the sound here it's also nice let me go on this area and then again i have to pull this and push it like that and then it's in the position the only thing is that i have to adjust this seat in my driving position let me adjust it electrically adjustment by the way okay and here i think i think this is my position yes i will leave it like that as i showed you before it's great that we have two windows here uh, that means great visibility tinted windows this is fixed and this can be fall down uh, now in terms of quality on the back door the design it's uh, nice it's simple nothing crazy nothing complicated uh, here it's plastic here it's plastic then we have the handle good quality here we have leather with blue stitches good quality here in this area some glossy plastic some chrome design handle quite nice the button for the window feel good and you have a speaker and then you have some storage space here good storage space here big entrance as you see before huge entrance actually and uh, you can see also from this angle the way uh, it looks quite nice we have leather seats with alcantara in the middle this is this is awesome quality we have possibility to install two child seats here in the back and one in the front because you have isofix also in the front here on the front seats i will show you later but the other great thing is that you can actually adjust those seats forward backward from here let me it's quite hard to do that with one hand man let me do it okay look at this you can adjust it like that and this is awesome i mean you can make even more space in the trunk there look at this you win a little bit of space and lovely i mean a really really proper practical car another cool thing is that you have three individual seats here like a van and this is another extra cool thing every person here have his own seats you don't have any transmission tunnel so you can stay with your legs together there lovely behind the front seat you have leather storage space here soft material i like that as well down there you have an usb and here you have the vents so the vents are also cool uh very useful now guys let me stay here first time stay here on the seat no i, I go behind myself because i want to show you a realistic space in front there it's myself 173 centimeters and on the right side it's a little bit backward the seat i think you can see from this angle but overall this is the position this is the space here of course i have quite good space not huge but quite good i have some uh possibility to to stick the legs under the front seat and here on my on my head i have like more than enough space on the head it's more more than enough space um, also outside visibility it's top perfect look at this what i tell you if the window goes up there you have lovely visibility so it's it's gorgeous visibility and surprisingly you have even a window there in the back i wasn't expect that it was black i think is the i wasn't think it's a window there it's so good they make it so good and i lock myself in the back here oh boy but anyway the space is good the comfort is good the visibility is perfect and also those seats are, are quite nice not as good as in the front but better than in most other cars of course the space on the legs here can be even bigger in some cars i see bigger but you can have everything guys i mean you have to give up something handle here uh, hooks for me it's perfect but for very tall people probably will not be here in the back but you have to test it the good quality on the roof very good quality i like that it's, it's it feels really good and i like the fact that it's white then you have leds here they are leds oh come on man why well, don't want to work now you lock me here in the back where is the unlock button i don't remember 
probably there somewhere anyway i will show you how i'll do it to go out so here it's the led and here it's led so that's great uh, overall quite good here in the middle i like the fact that you don't have any transmission tunnel you can stay with your legs together without any problem and still have some space here uh, on my head as well Ooh, even bigger space here and also stretch my hand completely and stretch my hand completely free people can stay you can stay on your own seat it's just incredible even for long trips you can do perfect here i like it i can get used with this car i, I really like it great job citroen really really good job now if i want to go outside from the car i will probably have to i have two options one go into the menu and find the child lock and second one try to unlock the windows that are locked leave the window down oh by the way you can leave it down for until here maximum and then unlock myself from outside smart huh okay let's go forward guys <laughs> let me close the door oh i love the sound of the doors by the way let's go in the front here actually uh, the door is very similar in design as it is, it is on the back there, nothing different, but here we have soft material on the upper side. Here it's quite soft and nice, then you have the handle, you have a small speaker here, you have again this leather here in this area with blue stitches, handle, chrome, glossy plastic and the buttons, the windows for the buttons, electric adjustable mirrors, huge space in the door bands, I like that, I also take this to clean it up a little bit because it's raining all the time. Uh, and then we have a speaker down here, Citroen at the entrance, normal pedals, no aluminium. Then we have electric adjustable seats for the driver here. So the passengers have normal manual adjustable seats, but the same, same good quality seats. We have here leather, we have Alcantara, very good, very comfortable. And also here they are bright, they are perfect. I mean, I sit on them, I drive the car a few times and they are they are lovely lovely seats here we have some storage space to put something it's not big but it's it's something there then you have kind of the lane assist on and off here uh, that help you then it's the position of the lights and then you can open the tank from here the petrol tank a little bit higher here in this area you have plastic but here until here you have soft material so here it's soft you can see this little little design there i like the vents I turned on the vents a little bit earlier and they work really good and I like the way they design it here. Let me go inside because I don't want to start raining again. Those are the wipers are working also pretty fine. Let me stop. Why is this working? Let me stop the climatic system. Here you have soft material in this area. You can see also the stitches, but here it's plastic everywhere on the upper side. Only here in the middle, it's soft and nice material. Here we have the glow box. By the way, probably you already know, the glow boxes are huge on the Peugeot and also Citroën cars. So really big glow box. I like that very much. Visibility around the windows, guys, it's uh, perfect. I mean, even in the, in the mirrors there, even around the window, big window, great visibility around the windows. Nothing to say about that. It's just lovely. You can see one more time the seats in the back there. And here we have the armrest. You can unlock that. Plenty of space here. You can also position this the way you want it in the middle. You can put it also in the front here. How you want it. You can, you can also adjust those things. And it's so big space. It's a normal ball plate there, but it's big, really big space down there. I like that. Two cup holders very nice here also you have a soft material in this area i think it's a rubber but it's nice integrated and it's a matte part it's not glossy so i know many people complain about glossy but it's not glossy so no fingerprints around here but i like the fact that it's simple to adjust different driving mode electronic handbrake change the gear shifter start stop button and all those are physical buttons here and this is something really really good you have also storage space here to put different things start engine button this is shift by wire transmission uh, it comes with this new transmission from Stellantis group uh, parking you have b mode b mode mean uh, it's kind of regenerative mode for for uh, electric cars like when you take off the acceleration uh, foot of the acceleration it's kind of brake it's kind of an engine brake but it's a motor brake and it's regenerate the energy back in the battery uh, and then if you go in reverse look how easy you go in reverse you press the brake let me start the car 
right now it's ready to drive and then going go in reverse just like that come on you have this reverse camera it's the old camera that Peugeot use it on their cars and also Citroen is not the new one and also it's not the new multimedia system that we see in that beautiful C5X uh, there but it's it's okay it's fine uh, you can get through with it without any problem it's kind of uh, view 360 degrees on the ground when you when you drive the car a little bit more there you have a big space for your phone and you have a 12 volt port and two usb uh, ports very useful very very useful different driving modes you have three different driving modes here you have sport you have hybrid and electric mode so that's also very useful you can drive in electric mode up to 55 kilometers this is stop we don't have too much battery now it's zero actually that way it doesn't stop the engine but keep in mind when you have the battery it's awesome and yeah a little bit higher here you have kind of this button that get you to the i should say ev mode view like you see the the flow here what happened with the energy you see statistics you see the charging state you have see the e-save you can also activate the e-save for example save me 10 kilometers of battery don't use it at all and this is also a great feature and other than that you have the climatic system and also this wheel for the volume and then physical button for the climatic system and this is great and also the blinker button there going a little bit higher here we have vents also good quality i like the vents then you have these kind of touch buttons here different shortcut buttons and also you have heated seats uh, you have the multimedia you just put your finger here you go to multimedia you go to climatic system you go to navigation system you go to the car settings uh, telephone and then you have also the possibility to connect your uh, android phone or uh, apple uh, phone here uh, to the car but you need the cable then the energy app is the app that you see before now if we go on multimedia i have already a video about it where I explain everything about this multimedia. It's very simple, actually. Uh, you have this TomTom, -tom, if I remember the map. Uh, it's quite good map. It's not the best, it's not super responsive, but it's, it's really good. Once you set it up, it's really good. It shows you also on the map the charging station where they are. So in general, I tell you, it's, it's quite, quite good. Uh, also, then you have the, the car here settings where you have the parking sensors, the traction control, the automatic headlamp, under inflation, the unknowns, and then vehicle settings. Uh, headlights here, you have some settings. Then you have the comfort settings. And then you have the safety settings where you have active safety brakes, speed recommendation, traffic sign recognition, driver uh, attention warning, blind spot monitoring. Uh, then we have the parking here. So yeah, in general, those are the settings. Then you have the, the other settings where you change the profile and the, the settings of the system, the language, uh, the kilometer miles, factory settings, information, private mode. So I think you already know that. I don't need, I don't even need to show you. From here, you can change different views on the cockpit. So in general, I have a separate video. If you want to see more details about this multimedia, check it out. Uh, on my channel guys so now going to the cockpit because this is one of the cool part in the car i like it very much great view by the way from the driver point of view i like that you have a very very good view and you can see this digital screen cockpit it's all over the screen you have so many information there for example you can see also the consumption on the left side there how much was the consumption in the last 1696 kilometer 4.9 liter very good consumption in my opinion also you can see on you can press this button and you can change those view there uh, also you can see the view with how much emission you had and from here from the steering wheel you can change also different views so for example if you don't want to see the navigation you can go to personalize and you can personalize that from the uh, multimedia system i showed you before and you can have whatever you want to have on the both sides there so it's very smart and it looks really cool then you have the minimum you don't see anything almost just the speed then you have the dials if you want to see the dials in kind of a different mode and then you have the driving here like it shows you adaptive cruise control and that settings and then you have the navigation that's my favorite view and that's it other than that very good view there no problem 
then this is the steering wheel by the way great grip guys on the steering wheel lovely lovely shape and design i like the grip on it i like the shape and it's so soft and easy to to use uh, here you have physical buttons to change different functions the volume physical button for the media you have pedals here to change the gear manual if you want to uh, behind the steering wheel there you have the controller for the cruise control you can set up from here uh, super simple and also it's manual adjustable so you can adjust it manually from here super simple and it works really fast it's smooth it's better than in, in most of other cars up here you have a microphone you have a SOS button you have LED lights uh, and also uh, different uh, there you can see also the seat belt and yeah nothing crazy here is the mirror with the view in the back great view in the back by the way you have also wiper there you can see I turn it on right now I don't know if you can see it but yeah great view uh, up here also you have uh, a mirror with two bulb lights and then you have another handle with a hook here so overall this was the car this was the review i think i cover everything stop the car stop the engine um, that was the review guys with this new citroen c5 aircross 2022 facelift i hope it was useful i hope i cover everything uh, if you still have questions ask me down below whatever you want to ask my rating for this citroen c5 aircross from 1 to 10 is 9.9 .9. I take into consideration price, I take into consideration comfort, um, safety and practicality. So uh, it's not a bad car, it's a really good car with this inflation, with those price. Um, these days I think it's, it's a good price for a new car. That was the video, uh, if you want to buy the car, if you want to see the car, check out Emil Frey guys, by the way, I will leave the link in the description if you want to see it, test drive, uh, check out the car or buy it, check them out, Emil Frey in Mosedorf. Uh, also, thank you very much to all of you that watching my video. I really appreciate that guys. So thank you again Really helpful for me if you can like share subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate that Also, thank you very much to all of you that watching my video stay safe and I see you soon in the next one. Bye guys